start off with uh, talking of the Minoans. Uh, again, successful sea traders uh, based on the island of Crete. And we know this, they're successful sea traders because of looking at their geography, all of the sea uh, that encompassed what the early Greek empire was. Um, we know that they lived in large palaces from the archaeological digs that they found up. Uh, we also know that they adopted the ideas of the Egyptians and Mesopotamians because of the um, different artifacts that they found uh, on the island of Crete. Um, and so how we know most about them are from their paintings. These frescoes or paintings on the walls uh, helped reveal a lot of the Minoan culture. And that's why we know so much about them today because writing was not as uh, important back then uh, as it is today. And so instead of writing, they did a lot of their telling in pictures and paintings, much like early cave people did. And again, um, the Mycenaeans invaded and led to the destruction of the Minoans. So that leads us to the Mycenaeans, again, sea traders. Um, dominated the Aegean Sea for around 200 years, which at that time is a large amount of time. If you think about how old the United States is, you know, founded in 1776, it's 2014, you know, that time frame is relatively uh, impressive for a ancient, especially ancient civilization. Uh, and again, looking upon what we have uh, in terms of archaeological artifacts and stuff, we know that they acquired skills and customs from the Minoans, Egyptians, all right, and then passed them on to the eventual people who we know as the Greeks. Uh, we know that they lived in city-states, again, very popular um, form of government this time. Each Again, each city has its own customs, its own beliefs, its own part of a religion, uh, and so that's, you know, that's how it works. Um, the wealthy rulers uh, amass these giant treasure, treasure troves of goods, gold, silver, jewels, whatever, a lot of that because of the, um, a lot of that was because of um, their trade. Uh, they're known for what they did in the Trojan War, um, and then they also were defeated by this small group called the Dorians. All right, so that leads us to the Dorians. Uh, they also spoke Greek or a form of Greek and were um, from the further north, probably up along the Macedonia, um, Bulgaria region uh, of it. Uh, we know that they invaded Mycenae. And, and let's focus here. Uh, we also know that the Dorians helped kind of lead to this, lead to a darker age uh, in our history of, of the Greeks, and that because of um, their invasions, we have a lot of city states disappearing, a lot of trade uh, is taken away, and uh, writing starts to kind of disappear. We call this kind of the dark ages uh, in Greece, and so it was mainly started because of Dorians, and one of that reason is probably because a lot of people um, didn't like, the Dorians didn't like what the Mycenaeans were doing, so they kind of tried to erase it from history. If you have any questions, bring the class, otherwise I'll see you then.